Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says the length and breadth of a park are in the ratio 3 is to 1 and its perimeter is 160 meters. A path 5 meters wide runs inside it along its boundary. Find the cost of paving the path at rupees 2 per meter square. Before we move on to the solution, let's recall the formula for the area of rectangle. This is equal to L into B. Then the formula for the perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus P where this L is the length of rectangle and B is the breadth of rectangle. This is the key idea to be used in this question. Let's move on to the solution now. Consider this park ABCD that is we have ABCD is the park and the shaded portion is the path inside the park Now that it's given that the length and breadth of a park are in the ratio 3 is to 1, so we take let the length of the park say L is equal to 3x meters, then we also assume the breadth of the park say B is equal to x meters that is AB is equal to 3x meters and BC is equal to x meters now the perimeter of the park would be equal to 2 into L plus P that is 3x plus x meters this is equal to 2 into 4x meters equal to 8x meters is the perimeter of the park. As given in the question the perimeter of the park is 160 meters so we say that but the perimeter of the park is equal to 160 meters. Therefore, 160 is equal to 8x. That is, x is equal to 160 upon 8. Now, 8, 20 times is 160. So, we have x is equal to 20. Now that we have got x equal to 20, so we say the length of the park which we had assumed as 3x meters would be equal to 3 into 20 meters that is equal to 60 meters. Then the breadth of the park which we had assumed as x meters would be equal to 20 meters. That is we say that L is equal to 60 meters and breadth B is equal to 20 meters. 
So this AB is equal to 60 meters and BC is equal to 20 meters. Now area of the park ABCD would be equal to 60 into 20 meter square that is equal to 1200 meter square is the area of the park ABCD. As given in the question that a path 5 meters wide runs inside the park along its boundary that is we have taken the shaded portion as the path and it is 5 meters wide Now let's find out the length of EF. This would be equal to AB minus 10 meters since it is 5 meters from both these sides. This is also 5 meters and this is also 5 meters. So we will subtract 10 meters from AB to get the length of EF. So this is equal to 60 meters minus 10 meters equal to 50 meters is EF. Then next we find out the length of FG. This would be equal to BC minus 10 meters as it is 5 meters from both these sides. So we subtract 10 meters from BC to get the length of FG. That is we have FG is equal to 20 meters minus 10 meters equal to 10 meters. So FG is equal to 10 meters. Now area of EF GH is equal to EF into FG that is equal to 50 into 10 meters square and this would be equal to 500 meter square is the area of EFGH. Now let's find out the area of the path. This would be equal to area of the park ABCD minus area of EFGH. Now we already have found out the area of the path ABCD that is equal to 1200 meter square. So this is equal to 1200 minus area of EFGH which is 500 meter square. So 1200 minus 500 meter square is the area of the path which is equal to 700 meter square. In the question we are given that the cost of paving 1 meter square of the path is equal to rupees 2 as given in question. So total cost of paving the path is equal to rupees 2 into 700 since 700 meter square is the area of the path. So this is equal to rupees 1400 is the total cost of paving the path. So rupees 1400 is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution for this question.